Hey everyone, thank you for joining us for another video on the Tula Pink um, Butterfly Block of the Month. I am on section three this month and I'm getting so excited because it's building and section three has been low stress, lots of fun. You can see over here, I've got my section one and section two sewn together. I love how these sections start fitting together and so your quilt is growing as you get more fabric. So over here I have laid out all of the blocks that you're going to make for your section three. You're going to have just a little um, block of them, uh, a little log cabin. We talked about log cabins last month so that's nothing new. But also notice the placement of these fabrics is different than the placement of the fabrics in your section two. So new section, new placement on your fabrics. Same with your floating star block. The fabrics are inverted, so they're different than what you made last month. So new month, new fabric placement. You're also going to have some of those half square triangles that you've already made come into play. Um, and you're also going to have this little guy. I made mine in month one because I was making ones um, that were exactly like this in month one, knowing that I would need another one. But you may not have made yours yet, and that's okay. You still have your fabrics from past months that you can go and pull out of to be able to catch up and make these blocks. Depending on how you want to do your block of the month, you have all the fabrics to kind of work ahead or you can just work on what you've got right then. Also, you're going to have these new blocks. These are um, strips. Again, just like our previous months, you're going to be given uh, my cheat sheet with all of my notes, which refer to the page numbers in your book for all of this and some tips on how to keep those half square triangles going and organized if you want to make them each month instead of all at once. Um, yeah, so let's get this sewn together and uh, there won't be a whole lot of new instruction, but you can see how these fabrics are laid out so you can pause this with me, lay out your fabrics, and we're gonna get this sewn together. So this is my layout for this particular block. And just like other months, we're just going to start sewing our pieces together and creating one side and then our mirror image side. Okay, so I have that one side sewn together. And as I've shown in past months, I'm just going to place all of my pieces for my mirror image side with the seams side up, so right sides together. And if you'll take this over to your sewing machine, this is gonna make it so much easier for you to get all of these pieces sewn correctly without having to do some unsewing in the future. So I'm gonna stitch this together, finish this block, and then I'll be ready to sew this on to my other sections. So my section three segments are finished and they are ready to be sewn onto my section one and two two except for I need a section four finished first so it's kind of I need four um, before I can get this three sewn and starting to make my pieces bigger but uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy the low stress um, of section three and um, we look forward to showing you section four